What's up everyone, welcome to the channel. There's been some speculation that the playoff committee and ESPN put Alabama in ahead of Florida State because of SEC bias and money. The head chairman of the playoff committee is Boo Corrigan, the athletic director at NC State. His brother, Tim Corrigan, is the VP of production at ESPN. So there are family ties between the executives of the two organizations. Does this mean that there was collusion between the playoff committee and ESPN? Well, let's look at the facts. Texas has one loss, and they put them in over Florida State. So does the committee have Big 12 bias too? And does the NFL have SEC bias when you look at the draft picks compared to other conferences? I mean, that kind of sounds ridiculous, doesn't it? Or is it that Alabama is 12-1, and one, they beat two top 15 teams, and the number one team in the country to win the SEC? While at the same time, we all watched Florida State struggle to even get a first down against a bad Louisville team in the ACC Championship. Any sane person that watched the SEC Championship and the ACC Championship knows that Alabama is better than Florida State. So did the committee put Alabama ahead of Florida State because of SEC bias and money? Or did they do it because Alabama is a better team. Well, I think the committee saw what you and I saw in the ACC championship, where Florida State looked terrible against Louisville, and they came to the same conclusion that everyone else did, that Alabama is better than Florida State. The committee got it right by putting in the best four teams. And I've seen a lot of other people say that Alabama bought their way into the playoffs, which is ridiculous because no one on the playoff committee has any ties to Alabama or the SEC. When you look at who's on the playoff committee, it's a bunch of athletic directors and former coaches and players from schools that have no affiliation with the SEC or Alabama. I mean, if you go look through all the bios, Joe Taylor is one of them. He's the vice president at Virginia Union. Why would the vice president at Virginia Union have SEC bias? Gene Taylor is on the committee. He's the athletic director at Kansas State. Why would the AD at Kansas State have SEC bias? It doesn't make any sense. And I've seen other people say that because Kirk Herbstreet correctly predicted the four playoff teams, and when he was on air, you could clearly see the helmets behind him in order. So that must mean that ESPN and Kirk Herbstreet already knew the four teams before they even revealed it. That somehow means that there's collusion and SEC bias. The helmets you see in the background are literally just Kirk Herbstreet's personal prediction. He predicted that Alabama would be in over FSU, so that's why the helmets are in that order. That literally isn't evidence or prove anything. So like all the other arguments for collusion between the playoff committee and ESPN are not based on any evidence, it's literally just a conspiracy theory. Let me know what you think in the comments. Did the committee put in Alabama over FSU because of SEC bias? Or did the committee choose the best four teams? I'm going to wrap this video up here. If you want to become a member or leave a super thanks, it would be greatly appreciated and help me out a lot. Be sure to leave a like on the video if you enjoyed. Thanks for watching. I'm out.